really grasp uh, the ag se sector. They believe that over the next few years, it is gonna grow very quickly. One drawback right now is we can't do pesticides, insecticides, and fungicides. However, we do offer precision agriculture, which comprises of two things. Number one, you have to know what's going on in your field, what's good, what's bad, and what's different from today to tomorrow. And then you have to attack the problems with a spraying drone, which is the big thing that you see behind me here. So I mentioned two components, multi-spectral drone, will scan the field and it will identify everything from lack of chlorophyll to where nitrogen may be needed, irrigation issues, pest issues, and then that data is fed into a spraying drone that can attack a specific area rather than kind of the spray and spray an entire field which results in a farmer, the ROI of spot spraying can save and a tremendous amount of money, as well as just keeping the crops um, growing the way they should be. People in the know are telling me that it, it's very close. In fact, they're saying that the government has everything in order, but it's gonna take a few more months before they actually approve it. So I hear first quarter 2023. Which, which will make the farmers very happy. No doubt, I wasn't ex expecting an answer that, that close on the horizon, shall we say. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, it's yeah. one of those, uh, they've, they've approved it in the United States, I think in 50 states, and typically we're a year behind the U.S. in a lot of things, so hopefully that's the case here. for inspections of bridges, power lines, and we also use them for surveying. And in surveying, obviously, they need very accurate ground points and they have to know within one centimeter. The same drone technology is used in the ag world. So the multispectral drone can actually, if you're mapping a field or targeting a certain area with chemicals, you can be within one centimeter of accuracy using RTK, which is real-time kinematics, the same as you use for surveying. Very accurate. couple of years I've found has been um, an education period. So the drones have come out. Um, we've done a lot of testing with uh, universities and other farmers. The technology works. It's getting better every day. And after the educating of the farmers, the farmers are now going, I like it. I like what I see. I see what it can do for me. I want it. So it, it's really come a long way. And as soon as, I, I, I hate bringing up that pesticides can't be used because you can still justify the spraying drone and the multispectral just by doing nitrogen and monitoring your field. But when the pesticides come out, we're not gonna be able to keep them on the shelf. <laughs>